You just got your Arc the 7P wireless and you're trying to set it up on your PS4. In this video today, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Hey everyone, this is Orphan from Wicked Cushions with another video and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Arctis 7P wireless on your PS4 and on your PC. I'm going to show you how to use the SteelSeries Engine 3 software, which is going to allow you to customize and equalize your Arctis 7P wireless. Now before we move on to the video, I know that you've been looking at these Arctis 7P wireless and you're wondering, where did I get those sexy red camo hybrid velour ear pads from? Well, the answer is, for me, I make these. At Wicked Cushions, we make a bunch of ear pads that are gonna take your Arcta 7P wireless to a whole different level of comfort. This is our red camo velour. We also have our speed racer velour. We have regular colors in both hybrid velour and regular leather and a bunch of other designs. All of our ear pads come with a 365 day warranty. If you don't like them, if you don't think they're an upgrade, shoot me a message and we'll refund you immediately. So if you want to try them out, simply click at the link at the top right corner right now or in the description below and let me know what you think. Okay, so for this step, you want to download the SteelSeries Engine 3 software. I linked it in the description, so go download it, install it, and come back. A few moments later. Once installed, you want to turn on your headphones by pressing the power button for three seconds and you want to connect your wireless transmitter to your laptop. Once you connect the wireless transmitter to the laptop, it will immediately show up, but it's still not fully connected. Once the wireless transmitter will pair to the headphones, the battery level is going to show up underneath where it says Arctis 7P wireless. If your wireless transmitter is not pairing to your headphones for some reason, which it should already come paired from the factory, I'll show you at the end of this video how to repair it. So once it's paired completely and the battery level shows up, you can click on this and start tweaking some stuff. So what you have inside, you have your equalizer, you have presets, you have uh, basically ready-made presets are ready, uh, basically pre-made uh, equalizers uh, adjustments. You have dynamic range compression, you have live mic, you have mic volume, and you can also choose uh, how long will it be until your headset automatically turns off if you haven't used it. So when you do adjust your equalizer, you want to have live preview on. So let's say for example, you want to adjust this equalizer for shooting sounds or something like that. What you can do is you can have a YouTube video in the background with you can look for, let's say Call of Duty shooting sounds or step sounds. And then you can put that on the background. A live preview basically, once you change and tweak the stuff, the sound will live preview and will basically change. So if you want to tweak steps, you can start playing with this, hear steps in a YouTube video, and actually you'll see how it affects it. So another cool feature is, let's say you want to have different sets for different um, games, you can basically add as many configurations as you want, just name them whatever, and then you can adjust the EQ as you wish, save it, and then you can always change it. So basically once you come here, you can change your configuration. Let's say I'll change it to League of Legends. And then when you go to your uh, PlayStation, or if you say you still play on your computer, it will go to the configuration. Now, if your wireless transmitter is not paired to your headphones, let me show you what you need to do. So if your wireless transmitter is not pairing to your headphones, you want to connect the wireless transmitter to your PC. And then you want to press the power button on your headphones for six seconds. After you did that, you are going to either go in here or you can click in here and you can click this. But that's basically the same thing. So if you click this from here, pair device, you will see that you have this uh, right here where it says the wireless transmitter is connected. But one more step is that you need to do is you need to take the micro USB cable. You see how it's X'd out in here because I did not do that right now. But when you connect your micro USB from the headphones to your computer and the wireless transmitter is also connected to your computer, they're both gonna have green check marks and then you're just going to click start pairing 
and it will pair it to your wireless transmitter. If it fails, just wait 20 seconds, click start pairing again, and then it should work. Okay, so to set it up on the PS4, it's gonna be really straightforward. Turn on your headphones and connect your wireless transmitter to the USB on your PS4. Once connected, you wanna go to settings. In settings, you wanna go to devices, then audio devices. You will see it already says headset still series arc to 7p you want to make sure that output the headphone is on all audio since i already set up mine um, it's volume all the way up but as a default it will be half so you can adjust it right here um, i keep it all the way up because you have a slider for the volume on your arctis headset anyways and in here you can also adjust your microphone volume i keep it at about half because if you go all the way up it sounds kind of too loud and um, that is basically it you're done and that is it for today's video everyone i hope that it was helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to contact us directly we have our email information in the description below please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every month i will see you on the next one meanwhile stay wicked my friends